Hey there, this tutorial will show you how you can create a South Park style cutout animation, principally using Adobe Photoshop and iMovie, or any type of basic video editing software. This combination of software probably isn't the ideal way to achieve this style of animation, but it's good for beginners and uses software that I have at the school where I teach. To start off, let's have a look at an example of this style of animation, a television advertisement for Arnott Shapes. Get ready for the ultimate flavour adventure with new shapes, flavours of the world in a range of fantastic flavours including Mediterranean feta and herb, Texan barbecue, an Italian wood-fired pizza. Now that's a flavour adventure. New Shaves Flavours of the World, flavour you can see. Here's a quick example that I threw together in Photoshop and iMovie. Oh, I am so awesome at animation. To create a Photomation caricature of yourself, you're going to need a bunch of photographs taken with a digital camera. First, you'll need some kind of backdrop. You can either take this photograph yourself or download the stock image from a website like the Stock Exchange, www.sxc.hu, which is a website featuring royalty-free images. Next, you'll need a series of pictures of yourself. Try to take these against a solid colour that's easily distinguishable from your clothes and skin. It's important that you take these photos in the same place so the lighting's consistent. Because we're going to be using each of these elements in an animation, if the exposure or lighting in the photographs changes, it's going to cause problems for us later on. First, take a mid-shot. We're going to use this as the body of your Photomation caricature. Next, you'll need to take a series of close-ups as you make the following mouth shapes. It's probably easiest if you pretend to say a word starting with these letters or sounds. First, you'll need a neutral expression for when your caricature is not speaking. Next, you'll need an A, kind of like saying R, E, O, M, as in mmm, cheeseburger, CH, as in I can has cheeseburger, L, and W, as in Wonder Woman. Okay, you're going to feel a little bit silly, but this will get you started with the lip syncing. Remember, we're making a caricature so it doesn't have to look perfect. I'd also recommend taking a few additional photos, for example, with your eyes shut, looking left, looking right, pulling a funny face, and raising your eyebrows. First up, you're going to need to create a new document in Photoshop. I'm going to go to the File menu and New. Now, Photoshop has a bunch of presets under the uh, Film and Video drop-down menu here. However, working in iMovie with PAL DV, I've worked out that um, the ideal resolution um, for this sort of thing is 784 pixels by 576 at a resolution of um, 72 dpi. So I'm going to call my new document Photomation and hit OK. Now the first thing I'm going to do in my Photomation is put in the backdrop. Now I've um, taken a bunch of photos and I'm keeping them in iPhoto and to switch applications I'm going to hold down the command key and hit tab a couple of times until I jump into iPhoto. Now there are a number of different ways you can get um, your photographs into um, Photoshop from iPhoto or from the Finder. Uh, the way I prefer is just to um, find the file or find um, the, the image in iPhoto drag it and drop it onto the Photoshop icon, like so. And then you'll notice that it opens up. Uh, this is just a fairly neutral backdrop um, of my street. And what I'm going to do to get it into the image, uh, this is a nifty little trick. I could go to the Select menu, Select All, then go to the Edit menu, um, and go down to Copy, jump back into my Photomation document and paste it. Uh, but I find the easiest way to um, move layers between documents is simply to drag them and drop them like that. Now because Photoshop doesn't have a paste in place function, um, what I'm going to have to do is transform this. You'll notice that the size of uh, my Photomation document is somewhat smaller than the size of the original image and I want to get most of it in there. So to resize this image, I'm going to go to um, Edit and Free Transform. Now you'll notice that the shortcut for this is Command-T and that's a really, really useful way to resize um, images on a layer. So I've gone to Edit, Free Transform 
And now to constrain the proportions of this um, image so it doesn't end up hideously skinny or um, misshapen, I'm holding down the shift key as I drag. And that means that the photograph is going to stay the same uh, shape. It's going to have the same proportions. Um, so I'm holding down the shift key as I drag these handles and making the image smaller. And that's looking pretty close to me. So to um, commit to those changes, I'm going to hit enter. Now that I've got this backdrop in here, uh, with my photomation, I'm going to go for a stylized backdrop. And really what I want this to look like is that I've cut these physically cut these pictures out and layered them, layered them on top of each other. Now, to achieve that sort of effect and create the impression of a very narrow depth of field, I'm going to go to the Filter menu and Blur, and I'm going to add a Gaussian Blur to this entire layer. Now, 45 pixels is possibly a little bit too strong. I actually want to discern a little bit of the background, and I think that looks kind of cool. So I'm going to go over here um, I've used a radius of 10.6. You can use whatever you like or do whatever you think looks good to create a stylized background. And I'm going to hit OK. So there's my background.